Hey there, I'm Lindsay, creator of Mrs. Project, where we talk schedules and project management. Today's topic is setting up your server account. Connecting to the server is an easy setup process. The server is also known as the Project Web app. It's a place on a server where all MPP files are stored and can be linked together. But you can link off the server as well, so that's not the selling point. The big advantage is the shared resources. You can create enterprise resources to share across projects. You can also create enterprise fields that are custom and uniform across all projects that are stored on the server. First, your server admin must create the server. So you will then get a web address. You will plug this address into the project desktop client. Now, I just got a new laptop, so I am setting up my server account. So I figured this was a great opportunity. You're going to click that web address that you have for your server. Copy it, and then you're going to go to project. So we've opened up project, and under info is where you'll find it. It says manage accounts. You're going to click on this, and it'll bring up this dialog box. You can see that computer is the default account. You're going to press add, and this is where you're going to give it a name. But before we do that, let's go ahead and paste the URL that you just copied from the server into that blank line. Now I'm going to give it and just say it's project or server 2019. And then it shows that you have this radio box that says set as the default account. I recommend that. Press OK. And there you have it. I'm going to set up another one because I have another server account. So this is server 2018 development. So I have a sandbox one and I need to go get that URL address, copy it, go back to project, type it in. Because it's my sandbox, I am not setting it as a default. So I'm going to press OK. The next step is you want to choose the radio button down here that says choose an account when starting MS project. This is key. So if you don't, it will use your default account. Now, why is that bad? Say you are working with another company and they have a project server and they store their MPP files on that server. They regularly send you their schedule to review and you pull data from it. If you open up their file while you're connected to your server account, it will erase some of their enterprise fields. So some of the data that is in those fields might be what you need and you won't see it. It'll appear like they erased it. If you open their files using your computer account, you can see their enterprise fields populated with the data. So you want to have that option to be able to choose which account you want to use when you're opening project, because you would choose the computer one to look at somebody else's file if they have used it on a server. If they haven't, then it's no issue, but it's just if there is data that they are storing in their enterprise fields that you need, it'll look like they've erased it if you're using your server account to view their files. So that's why you want the option. Once your account is set up, so I'm going to press OK, you're going to be able to open a file using the client from the server. So if I were to go to open, and actually now that I've set it up, I need to close it and restart it. So I've closed it, I'm going to restart it. There you go. It's now asking me, do I, which account do I want to use for this session of project? And this is where you see the ones that I just set up. I'm going to go ahead and say server 2019 and press OK. Now we're going to go to open. You'll see PWA as listed as an option from the open command. So here we just had recent, and again, I just installed project, so I have nothing recent. But if you're on server, uh, the PWA, it's there. You would just click on browse. So when you open this, it's going to have the recently used files, if you had any. But because this is new, I don't have any. So I'm going to click on show me the list of all projects. If I click on that, it now has pulled up all the files that are on the server that I'm connected to of the account that I selected. So then I can go and click on one. And then if you if you own the file, you can use the read write. If you don't, it'll default to just read only. And then you have the option of storing it working or published. Then you would say open. This is now connecting to the server. You have just pulled up your file that is stored on the server. And then you can see by default it says it's read only. I'm going to check it out because I do own it. This is where I can write it and then I can save it and publish it. And then you would close it and then it is out there on the server. And then it asks if you want to check it in. You would say yes. 
And there you go. Now, if I go to open it again and go to that server and say browse, you're going to see I recently just had that one open. So now it is listed in my recently touched files. This is how you connect your account to your server account. Hope this helps you for today. Now go out there and flowcast those projects.